New Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell is revved up, ready to go. He's been waiting all his life for this opportunity to be the head coach of a National Football League team. Also, he looks like a young Bunk Grant, n- no problem. Uh, but also, his career as a quarterback never really panned out. I mean, at 36 years young, there's still quarterbacks in the league uh, that are still bouncing around, including his former teammate Tom Brady, by, by the way. But it sort of is what it is. He got into coaching in 2015, uh, and it, it seems like he was destined to be a coach. And there was a, this hilarious uh, quote uh, from a former uh, Jets defensive coordinator Mike Pettin, who's also bounced around, former head coach of the Browns, uh, also D.C. of the Greasy Grimy Green Bay Packers. He's currently uh, Kevin O'Connell's assistant head coach, consigliere, uh, sounding board, all, all that stuff. A guy who's been there, done that, gotten the T-shirt. Uh, and Kevin O'Connell, I, I think, assembled a fantastic staff here, the Vikings, Pettin being among them. But Pettin, I, I want to know if Pettin uh, has got the Powerball numbers because he had a great prediction back in the day. Uh, and uh, uh, Jim Trotter, the great Jim Trotter, put together a fantastic in-depth article on Kevin O'Connell. Highly recommend it over on NFL.com. Uh, and this quote from Pettin is, is, is the best. Uh, if O'Connell could not see that his calling was as a coach instead of a player after never taking an official snap in three seasons with the Jets, Mike Pettin, New York's defensive coordinator back then, back in the day, uh, painted a vivid picture of his football uh, future in football. Quote, I think I might have said, you're not worth a damn as a quarterback, and I don't know if I use the word damn. However, you're going to make a hell of a coach one day. And this was when Patton was D.C. for the Jets, and Rex Ryan and Mark Sanchez was there, and Kevin O'Connell was the backup for the Jets for three seasons. Uh, Didn't quite pan out, and it's a hilarious backhanded compliment, and it seems backhanded, but it's really not, because there are a lot of players in the league, uh, and actually, it goes across all sports, where you look at the, the head coaches or the managers, they're not necessarily the star players. They're the marginal guys, the backups, the ones that had to to know the game every single in and out because they didn't have the natural ability just to go out there and dominate, right? They had to squeeze every little ounce of uh, ability uh, through technique, through uh, knowing uh, the the playbook and the offense and everything like that and strategy. And Kevin O'Connell, I, I think, fits into that mold. And Patton, he, he was trying to... <laughs> Uh, Pettin was trying to give his guy Kevin O'Connell some props. And, uh, of course, uh, when Kevin O'Connell decided to hang up his, his cleats, he got into coaching 2015. First season, first season, Mike Pettin added him to his final Cleveland Browns staff in 2015 as his quarterback's coach, as his QB's coach. By the way, Johnny in football just uh, looking great. Just looking, uh, just looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed uh, in that photo. It's fantastic. And also, I mean, Pettin, Pettin knows too because Pettin was a player back in the day. He played safety at the University of Virginia. Was a high school quarterback. I never made it in the league. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of these stories where you look around coaching staffs uh, of players that maybe got a little bit of their time in the sun, but generally, uh, especially position coaches, you know, they weren't superstars. They weren't this. They weren't that. And then position coaches rise up to be coordinators, rise up to be head coaches, uh, and then that's how they get it done. And with O'Connell, I think the Vikings are very fortunate to have him because it's obvious he knows the ins and outs of the game. Uh, He was able to learn from a lot lot of great coaches during his various stops. I learned from Sean McVay with the Rams last couple years. uh, Was drafted by Belichick in the third round back in the day. Uh, Bounced around with Rex Ryan and Pettin and the Jets. So, yeah, I I think the Vikings had themselves a phenomenal head coach who took a very uh, serpentitious that's not a word. Just very long, winding road to get to the spot. But I think the Vikings, at 36 years young, they may have their head coach for the foreseeable future. I mean, knocking on all the wood, uh, winning a dozen Jerome Bardies in his first 10 seasons, and then winning a dozen more in the next 20. That's 24 in 20 years. Woo! Be a record or something, man. There, there you go. But Vikings assistant head coach Mike Patton dropping a hilarious backhand compliment uh, on Kevin O'Connell from back in the day. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.